Skeeter War is one of the most boring topics, but I don't know. I just uh, pick up uh, droning, so, and I find out one of the worst, one of the worst uh, activities to do to attract uh, mosquitoes is actually droning. It's even worse than like hiking in the jungle. I can't believe it. So, because you're just standing there for 15 minutes, you can be in the middle of like the. You could be in the middle of like a, a parking lot and then the mosquitoes will find you. So look what I got. It's wartime. Thermocell, the most famous. And I withheld getting one of those because of this. The USB mosquito repellent, right? So uh, it's much lighter. You can see, look at the sizes. This thing's huge, but it is light. And uh, it doesn't have to run off of a mobile charger, so. What I want to do is I want to test out. Let's let's test these two things out. You can see the size. Look at the size first. Look at the size of the the mat. Double the size, right? So I think without a doubt the the thermosil is going to perform twice as better. Okay. So what I want to do is let's let's uh, kind of test a startup. Um, how long it takes to uh, to get it to uh, start steaming, vaporizing the the material, the ingredients. Oh yeah, so let's just start it. I'll probably cut the film and just, maybe in five minute mark, I'll just restart it and then the 10 minute mark. I think 10 minutes is supposed to be the, the, here we go, this is on. Put this one on, turn it like this, and then count five, about five, and then click, and then, yeah. There will be, you see the, right there, you can see that it is lit. And so both is ready to go. And then, so let me just time it. Five minute mark, I'll, I'll film it again. So we can see which one is uh, starting up faster. And then uh, to get an idea which one's better. I, I mean, I'm gonna say right now the thermosol is gonna be better. So let's find out. All right, get Two back to mark. you. Um, it's already smoking, check that out, man. Thermocell for the win. Already steaming at three minutes. I can smell it. it kind of smells like soap. That's what the smell is. Let me go check out the this little USB thing. Uh, whoops. Drop the thing out. Checking it and nada. Not a single, still nothing. Wow. All right, let me check back at the, uh, as the time goes. So obviously look at the thermosil go. Okay, yeah. So already for function, sport use, recreational, right? I guess if you, this you will have for, you can carry it all the time with you. But this one, of course you cannot. So if you know you're going outdoors, you carry this one. This is, this is not a replacement for this. But uh, like a photographer, the old sayings, any, the best camera is the one that you have with you. So the, having, uh, having the USB is better than nothing because it does work. Okay, let me get back to you. Oh man, this stuff stinks. Okay, when they say there's no scent, that's bullshit. It smells like soap, which is not a bad smell. So. Uh, it is six minutes so far, and um, now we're starting to see. Well, out of the USB one, it's starting to. It's hard to see, but the this thermosel is just a beast. It's like, but you can see that the USB one. You can see it's actually smoking. So uh, three minutes, three minutes versus six minutes, and that's not full operation temperature. This one should be. This one should be at 10 minute mark, it should be, so. Ah, pros and cons of each one. Let's, how do we say it? Uh, I think what I said before, you definitely going out, bring this. If you're high altitude, I guess a gas won't work. It works off but, uh, but, um, butane, but uh, I don't think high altitude has uh, mosquitoes, so. Uh, you can't fly with the butane cartridge. I don't know if you can buy it, source it at your destination if you have to travel somewhere. And uh, this, of course, you can travel with this. So that's that's a difference between that. Um, 
lighter weight this is not heavy it's light but it's big it is really big it's like i don't know what are we going to compare it to this mobile char i mean i guess you can say this is the same right but mobile charger has another feature it's, it's charging your phone you have you probably have one with you all the time so i would say that's this is more like it so compact lightweight this is light not as light and this is big um double the power it looks like double the output it is uh double the pad and it's and it's uh heating that up and it heats up fast um it looks like it heats up fast it's supposed to be a 12 hour uh, operation. Let's just say if it's six hours, it's a lot longer than this. This is going to probably crap out in a couple hours, maybe an hour and a half. Who knows? In the small pack versus the versus a bigger mobile ch charge. It depends on what size mobile charge you carry. And so, um, yeah. So unexpectedly, unexpectedly, you then you would you should have this with you at all times. And then this one went on purpose there is no replacement it, it seems so I'm keep repeating the same thing let's see it's nine minutes now let me just let it go for a couple more minutes and let's see uh, the full output of each one all right it's 11 minutes they've both been running 11 minutes and let's check it out okay this is what the, out, the amount of output you'll get that's not bad, look at it go. You know, if you're indoors, this is not bad. So this is the indoor, or close, close uh, maybe close quarters, under the table, under the restaurant table, outdoor seating, something like that, I don't know. You can use this, right? Not so crazy. That's the output for that. And the thermocell is a freaking smoke cloud. Double the output and look at it go. Damn, it's like a smoker. So, yeah, no comparison between the two, for sure. So, if you're hiking, this is completely useless. You know, this is like, how do you carry this? Put this in your pants and this this thing might pop off and like fall on the ground. And maybe get electrocuted, <laughs> I'm just joking. But you can't use, you cannot use either in the rain. According to uh, Thermosel, you can't use that, and obviously you won't use this in the rain. I just want to show you how I mounted it. Um, I just got it, so I don't know if this is foolproof, but I've read there's um, different holsters and stuff like that you can use. So I uh, got a, uh, one of these tech lock clips. Actually, this is just a chi cheap Chinese clone. Zip locked it to here, and uh, the zip lock allowed there to be kind of a gap because there's a kind of grill in the back. I don't know if that's needs ventilation or not. So, yeah, zip lock, zip lock right there. Clip that to the belt, and uh, should be nice for outdoors. Um, I'm gonna be probably these things are best used as a uh, horizontally, as more of the vapors come up. I'm gonna just be putting this where I because uh, I got a Mavic. I'm telling you, I have never been bitten so much more in my life. It's just crazy and just in a non-jungle environment. It's, it's really funny that um, where the mosquitoes pop up. So uh, yeah, I've just probably put this where I'm standing and it's like a time where you just don't want to be distracted about uh, with mosquitoes and uh, <laughs> yeah. So goodbye, 20 bucks. I, you know what, I recommend both. How about that? Uh, 20 bucks. This is what, five bucks or something like that? A couple bucks. Um, you can, the refills are cheap, uh, wherever you can find find it. In fact, you don't even have to like buy thermosels or re refills. You can buy two of these and then slide two of those in here. Or t number two, uh, people refill this and you can refill it with your own mixture of, some people use some like, kind of horse anti-bug stuff like made up permethrin and they do their own kind of mixture or you can just buy this if you don't want to play around and just slide two of, two of those in there or they have like liquid mosquito repellent that uses the same principle of, of vaporizing and uh, you can just use a, like a dropper and just drop the, the ingredients in there and yeah and also the butane so this is where like they're trying to make money I mean it's only $20 it's quite simple uh, unit and um, 
they were trying to make it off of the consumables, which is uh, the, obviously the mosquito pad with the ingredient and the butane, the proprietary butane cartridge. There's plenty of YouTube videos and instructions on how to modify it so that you can refill it. It's basically your there's a one-way valve that you're you're basically gonna pull out of the the cartridge, and then after that you can refill with your own butane, and your own butane gas gas can. So that's pretty cool. So this is actually can be uh, quite low cost. Or you can just buy the you know the thermocell stuff if you don't use it so often. Maybe it's not even worth modding or if you're not a cheapskate, but uh, worth knowing. So both cheap solutions for mosquitoes in non-windy environments, obviously, um, and probably close quarters, great for hunters and such. Indoors, this is not recommended for indoors as well. That's what they say. So outdoors, maybe like this is more indoors. This is more EDC. This is more sport use, more field use. And um, so yeah, two good products in my opinion. Obviously the thermosel is a lot better. This, this is not a replacement for the thermosel. So good to know. Good to know. And actually, yeah, imagine you're hang, hiking or camping and uh, you don't want to ex exhaust your your mobile charger. You want to charge your phone for emergency, right? Uh, that one that one butane can go for you know a long time. It's not like you're gonna run run this 24 hours a day. I think so. Pretty cool. Really, really nice device. I think worth it. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if I, if you're actually watching this, is probably no one's watching this I'm just gonna upload it anyway uh, <laughs> because uh, I find it interesting for me because I need it all right see you guys